I am ready to go when this light turns green. Good morning. We are off on our Sunday ride and it's a hot one. Definitely gonna be a hot one. It's actually already pretty hot right now. Um, it was hot first thing this morning, even when the, uh, even when it was dark out, hot and humid. It's gonna be key to be well hydrated today. Gonna to make sure we keep uh, chugging the water and electrolytes and obviously stay well fueled too. Uh, the ride is pretty long. Um, it's about 74 miles is what's planned. Planned to take us around five and a half hours. We'll see, you know, how that plays out. Um, the route is going up to Clark Hill Climb, which we haven't done in a while. There's actually a, a segment that I think we created that goes up the Clark Hill Climb and then uh, the shorter side of Skiff Mountain. So it's like the whole segment is, uh, I, I don't I forget the distance of it. Um, but I think last time we did that segment, it probably took us about a half hour or something. So it's kind of a long climb. We haven't totally decided which way we're going to come home. Uh, there's a few different routes that we could take coming home. So we'll decide that when we get to River Road. It's, uh, it is pretty muggy today and it's only going to get hotter. When we're moving, it's not too bad. We get a little breeze. Well, when we're climbing, it gets hot, but um, we haven't done a lot of climbing yet. And uh, going downhill around the flats, we get a nice breeze. But as soon as we stopped here for our first break, you could just feel the thick air. And um, yeah, Joy said she's not really feeling 100% today. I guess I'm not either. Uh, I don't really know how I'm feeling actually. Um, I haven't taken my turn at the front yet, so I guess we'll find out when I start doing that. Yesterday we had a, uh, a nice party with our, our families to celebrate my mom's retirement. Happy retirement mom, by the way. And um, ate a lot of food, a lot of yummy food, uh, most of which we cooked, um, but we also had a nice strawberry shortcake from the American Pie Company, which is, you know, of course, the spot that we stop often to get treats. And everything was yummy, but I think we over, over ate a little bit and now feeling perhaps a little sluggish today because of that. I ate more sweets than vegetables last night. And so that I'm definitely paying the price for it now. I kind of woke up today with um, just kind of feeling run down. Uh, a little scratchy throat. Ugh, it's just, yeah, like Jason said, it's pretty muggy out here. And um, I was taking the pull in the front and I could definitely feel um, myself warming up, even though um, I'm wearing the same, well, the same brand jerseys that I was wearing, jersey that I was wearing last week, um, which is by that brand, Pactimo. We're not sponsored or anything, but I just wanted to kind of point out that they have this summer weight jersey. And I have the orange, uh, orange one on right now it's like it, i think it's just too mu too muggy to even feel anything i do feel a little bit of the the wind that's um a little bit of the headwind that's kind of cooling us down but yeah uh, i don't know how this day is going to be i just usually i i film some b-roll in the back and uh you know kind of take it easy but today is one of those days where it's going to be a long day and it's going to be hot so i'm not i'm kind of not looking forward to it i woke up this morning um, kind of not looking forward to this ride. Well, hopefully 
things turn around for the better. So Jason said the fastest way to cool your body based on this podcast that we listen to called the Huberman Lab. I'll link the podcast or I'll link the name of the podcast in the description. But he said the fastest way to cool yourself down is to, in your palms, so when you're holding something cold like a cold water bottle. Luckily, yeah, there is this, still this breeze here. So um, just trying to stay away from any area where the sun can be hitting me. Oh yeah, um, I'm still bringing chocolate chip cookies that I made last week and I still had some left over, so I'm bringing them today. And I think I'm gonna have two chocolate chip cookies. That Churchill Road that we just did is, uh, is pretty pretty fun. It's uh, you know pretty flat and windy, so it's, uh, for me, it's, I don't have the best handling, so that's the only, the only thing that slows me down is some of the turns I, I use the brakes because I just don't feel comfortable going around the turns very fast. Um, but I was testing out some aero positions and uh, felt like what, that was helping me move a little faster. And uh, I see that our average speed so far is 15 and a half miles per hour. I got 15.9. .9. oh, okay. Somehow Joy's going faster than me. Probably from downhill. Uh, maybe. Yeah, she does go faster on the downhills. And, and that takes the whole ride into it. Even though I was just at the front, she was probably going faster earlier in the ride because she was ahead and, and going downhill. It's not, our speed is obviously, is not gonna stay where it is by the end of the ride, but, um, cause we haven't done that much climbing yet. Yeah, I, uh, I hope we can do another solid ride, uh, you know, keeping the speed over over 14 miles per hour. That's kind of our new our new normal, I guess. So it'll be good to do another long ride um, at that speed if we can. Sorry. So we had stopped over at the base of Skiff. There's a little trail that goes down to the river there. And we used that as a discreet spot to do a nature break. A woman and her kids stopped and uh, was about to go down, but <laughs> Jason was doing his business, so I had to let her know that we're heading over to Park Hill now. got in my eye. Ew, is it sap? It's like snot. You didn't happen to snot, did you?
So now we're here at the bottom of Skiff. Uh, that climb was awful. Just looking at it, we approach it. It is so steep looking and it's intimidating. And so, um, yeah, I said I was gonna do 190, 200 average or to hold 190 to have 200 and that was not the case. Um, I'm hoping that I still PR'd it though because um, it, I was ahead a little bit. However, there was something that splat in my eye. I don't know what it was that came down into my sunglasses. It was like this green gooey stuff and it got in my right eye. And I said to Jason, I was like, oh, uh, I got something in my eye, I got something in my eye. And then he's like, oh, let's stop. I'm like, oh, no, but you can just keep going. I, I'm like, I, I literally am looking. I've had my one eye open. I'm like, oh, we could just keep going. And eventually I had to <laughs> take my sunglasses off and just hold it the entire time. Um, so that time where I slowed, we slowed down um, might, have, might have cost me time. So who knows? Uh, the segment went away. And that's the frustrating thing about the Wahoo is recently it's been kind of... Um, we have the Wahoo Element, so it's an older version. I know they have the Bolt and the Element Rome. So uh, some things I like about it, um, ever since they did an update, uh, it's just been a few things that have been frustrating us. The toughest part about that climb for me was it started getting really hot when we were on the first part of it, which is Clark Hill. Um, it's kind of out in the open and it, the, the sun has been kind of on and off today but the sun kind of beat, beat down on us at that time and really started to feel, uh, I think we both started to feel like we were overheating. Um, but then it, the sun kind of went away and then we, we caught a little bit of breeze along the way because there's the, that climb or that segment goes kind of up and down, uh, mostly up, but there's a few parts that go down and where you can catch a break. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I was trying to, I was trying to work for Joy to, to get her a PR, but so I'm kind of bummed that our uh, the segment went away for both of us. So I really don't know if she got the PR. Um, we'll just have to to check on that later, I guess, after the ride. Um, anyway, the uh, the ride's moving along. We're a little over three hours into it, and um, still maintaining a, a good speed even after that that climb. Uh, so. not gonna lie I really want ice cream right now <laughs> before I forget um, I know Joel our um, I know, viewer and subscriber to the channel requested that we do group rides and I was wondering if uh, what you guys think about that um, the only thing is the only social media we have is Strava and obviously YouTube uh, I don't have, I do have you, um, Facebook, I'm just not on Facebook anymore. So, if anyone is willing to do a group ride with us, we can definitely host a group ride. What I think I'm going to do is create a group on Strava and make the announcements and have the announcements be there. Because um, that's the only way we can communicate with our viewers. So the decision that we're trying to make is whether or not to do an extra uh, extra climbing. So we are heading to do the Candlewood Lake Road North climb and that is off of Route 7 and Route 7 in New Milford is a very dicey road actually and I don't like that road um, but each time you know we do ride it often to go to go back home so we're deciding whether or not to do an additional climb after Candlewood Lake Road North and that is up Carmen Hill number one which is a um, a climb that I did a partial QOM in a couple of weeks ago um, there is the climb does continue further up that's about a mile long it's a gradual uh, grade so um, yeah 
I guess I'll make my make up my mind once we get past Candlewood Lake Road North. So we stopped here at uh, elementary school in New Milford uh, just for a break. Um, Joy's feet are going numb again, so she's just stretching them out. We are almost four and a half hours into the ride, 65 miles, 4,000 feet of climbing. So it's actually not, wasn't a ton of climbing today. I mean, we're not quite done yet. I think we're we're planning on doing Carmen Hill number one on the way back. Uh, so that'll add a little bit of elevation. As of right now, still saying uh, average speed 15 miles per hour. So I don't know if we're going to maintain that all the way through the end of the ride, but at least we held it for over four hours. So it's the day after our ride. Um, I didn't bother filming anything uh, when we were riding home because it was just so hot. <laughs> I didn't want to bother with a camera. Um, usually I get a few shots towards the end, but last uh, yesterday I was just ready to come back inside. And when we got into the garage, I looked at my arms and I had this nice shine to it, uh, probably from all the sweat. We both did and walked in and it was so nice with, it, with the air conditioner. It was a hard ride, because, primarily because of the, the temperature, it was just so hot and, um, sorry, the dogs are... Um, we wound up doing Carmen Hill number one, the climb, uh, it was like a little over a mile long and I... I just couldn't hand. I just couldn't hold it. It was so hard for me to hold 100. My goal was to do 175 watts up it. Um, I couldn't hold it after doing Candlewood Lake, and my feet were going numb, and so that was a little frustrating. Um, we stopped at the school um, at Hill and Plain Elementary School in New Milford, and I tried to stretch my my feet out and my toes and um, shortly afterwards I was still getting I was getting the numbness I thought maybe I could possibly hold 175 watts um, but that was not the case we got to the top it was nice it's actually a nice ride at the top and we took that road to do a little extra climbing um, we were uh, going to ride through Candlewood Lake Road uh, or uh, uh, the perimeter of Candlewood Lake But we know that the roads there are a little too bumpy and too washboardy so we decided to avoid it and uh, We thought maybe it was gonna be pretty busy too because of It's right by the lake and it was um, around two or three o'clock so uh, We know that it does get pretty busy around there because with everybody um, on the boat and uh, yeah, so we took that and then we took our normal normal route back home uh, and thankfully got home. Uh, it was by the time we got home, it was like three o'clock. We wound up doing 74 miles with 5,900 feet of climbing and our speed has been ticking up there. Uh, it was at 50, we actually, before we did the Kenwood Lake Road climb and we were at River Road, uh, our speed was around 15.5 miles per hour and it dropped to 14.8 the end of the ride because of all the climbing and uh, the dirt roads also slow us down. Yes, I hope you guys had a wonderful week and don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.